Welcome to Price Hall, this is Mike, and look what we got here, American Metabolics Turmeric Gummies, which actually have a hit of ginger inside, which I love. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about ginger or turmeric gummies, so I'm going to hand this one over to Ben. Uh, I guess I'll be doing this video next week for you guys. Enjoy Mike's video for now, though. Instead, I actually want to talk about a different product from American Metabolics that we didn't cover on the YouTube channel, but we have a very informative blog post about that I want to get into. And I am talking about American Metabolics Super C. If you can't tell, it's a vitamin C-based supplement, but if you look at the label, you're going to see a little bit of extra stuff in there, and that's what I actually want to focus in on. Um, you know, summer is coming right now. This is April of 2022, but this is not the time to stop taking vitamin D supplements and for a lot of people it's not the time to stop taking zinc supplements especially if you're zinc deficient in general i think vitamin c is always a great thing to take and those are the ingredients we're going to talk about today now in this video i, I there's a couple demographics that i kind of want to treat here most of the people who watch this channel are likely already getting copious amounts of vitamin d and they, they have a pretty good immunity regimen going on at this point the issue is that a lot of those vitamins out there like certain ones that are advertised towards seniors or certain ones that are on tv commercials they have abysmal doses of vitamin D or they're using poor, very poor uh, forms of zinc that have awful, atrocious uh, bioavailability that basically aren't absorbed. And so uh, a lot of us have boomer parents, for instance, and, and you know they may have been asking us over the past uh, couple of years, hey, I hear I should be taking some zinc. Yes, you should take zinc, but you shouldn't be taking garbage zinc. And we have a good zinc here in American Metabolic Super C. So let's take through these ingredients really quickly. And uh, in general, like my, my take is that this is a good idea to, to try this supplement or to give it to like your parents or whoever, if they are already taking a multi vitamin but they want a little bit of an extra immunity burst if that's the multivitamin is not exactly using a quality form of zinc if it's using zinc oxide it's it's basically garbage let's just put it that way and and we'll talk about some of the studies about that and or if you want to have someone who wants the mega dose vitamin c it's good to have some extra vitamin c on hand and this has a very high dose of vitamin c alongside of vitamin d because a lot of those multivitamins have too low of vitamin d as well like you can look at some of these multivitamins you see 100 iu 400 IU of vitamin D, that's abysmal. So let's, so you can see where we're going with this discussion. So with Super C, we're getting 180 capsules, which is 90 servings, basically a three month supply. Uh, you can make this last a really long time if you're just using it to like add one capsule to an existing formula or to wait until you start feeling a little bit sick or something like that. But anyway, 90 servings here. And we're gonna start off with vitamin C. We have 1360 milligrams. So basically they, they took two capsules and they put in the vitamin D, they put in the vitamin, uh, the, the zinc, and then they jam the rest of it with as much vitamin C as they can get into two capsules. I love this idea because this is a 1,511% of the recommended daily value. Now this is a pretty much a, a mega dose of vitamin C and a lot of people have been talking about that. So in terms of the research, a lot of this research on, on cold and colds and immunity and viral uh, protection against vi viruses, a lot of it came from the 1970s. And if you look at like the, the grand like totality of the research in general taking vitamin c if you get sick is gonna reduce the uh, severity of your cold but basically it's gonna reduce the and i'm not gonna say it's going to it's been shown to not only reduce the severity of colds but basically reduce uh the length of of colds by about half a day so nothing horrible, but when you have a cold and you're feeling sick, you will take that half a day, especially if it's something as safe and um, cheap as vitamin C, you might as well. And this, this is not a very expensive supplement, so which makes me like want to recommend adding it to those other lesser quality uh, multivitamins that I'm not a big fan of, obviously. So half a day, we'll take it. Uh, there's tons of different ways that vitamin C works. It's a cofactor for so many en enzymatic reactions in the body. You obviously don't want to be deficient in it and with a 1500% recommended daily value you're likely not going to be deficient unless you have some other underlying issues going on but basically it functions as an antioxidant and it'll help attack the free radicals bind to them and stop free radical cascades from causing one after another after another bad chemical reaction leaving you with like basically toxic waste in your system this will help bind and support the enzymes that clean out a lot of the free radicals that are occurring in the body and in general help with the immunity in that fashion however we also have some sections of this blog post talking about vitamin C, supporting the adrenal glands, 
Vitamin C uh, helping to increase collagen synthesis. Collagen supplements have been very popular, so if your collagen supplement doesn't include vitamin C, you might want a little bit more here. It supports neurotransmitter production. It helps and helps with like intraneuronal communication. It help. It can, it's been shown to lower blood pressure. It's uh, been shown to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. And then it just helps with a lot of like basically cell clearance, like getting your body, getting rid of the old dying cells, make way for the new stuff. And so, and then there's also the immunity benefits mostly resolve, revolving around being used as an antioxidant. There's even fertility studies being published or that have been published. So male fertility is improved in general, especially for like hypogonadal males when a nice dose of vitamin C is thrown at the problem. In, ger in terms of like the more modern viruses that we've been dealing with over the last couple of years, there are a lot of studies. Vitamin C has uh, been part of a stack to, and oftentimes included with zinc, sometimes included with drugs, sometimes not, but in general, vitamin C has been part of many successful studies with early prevention and treatment of like novel coronaviruses and everything, but I, I wouldn't just rely on vitamin C. Part of my, my stack is always going to be zinc. I made a, a hypothetical immunity supplement in a previous video where I have tons and tons of different ingredients and everything. Not everyone wants to take like eight capsules. With two capsules, we can get some of the basics here and that includes the vitamin C. And then of course next, vitamin D3. Now just because it's summer doesn't mean that you can stop taking vitamin D. A lot of people still don't just don't get enough sunshine. We're not walking around in the sun all day long. The, the truth is that you really should get your, your blood levels of vitamin D checked. That's really going to be the, the, the guidance. My, my take personally is I do like 5,000 to 10,000 IU per day, every day, and supplementally total. Now what we have here in the two capsule dose of Super C is 2,500 IUs. That's 312% of the recommended daily value. And I think it's a really good dose for like an additive type of supplement because we can get vitamin D in a lot of different things, including maybe the regular multivitamin that you're taking. But I've already kind of trashed those regular multivitamins because oftentimes they include like only, it depends, 400 IU, but hopefully like 1,000 IU. So we've seen so many different studies where vitamin D supports the production of testosterone, it supports the immune system. Some of these more modern studies show that with the, the novel coronaviruses, show that vitamin D is oftentimes part of the stack that helps with early tr treatment, prophylaxis, and all that. But not only that, serum vitamin D levels also are very, very strong indicators of how successful individuals are going to combat these diseases as well. And finally, kind of stacking with the, uh, the vitamin C and collagen synthesis, there's a lot of skin health research with vitamin D as well. So long story short, find a way, they really, blood tests aren't that expensive. You probably should just get your serum vitamin D levels checked. And in general, kind of titrate up from there depending on what you need. But 2,500 IUs I think is a good place to start. I do hope that your multivitamin breaks a little bit more and see if you can get yourself towards the 4,000, 5,000. And then for some of you bigger guys, I'm not I'm not afraid of doing 10,000. The uh, And I'm talking about IUs here. Again, the blood test will show the way. And then finally, zinc. There's some studies showing that zinc oxide is just simply, it's not very well absorbed. The issue with minerals in general, especially if we're trying to supplement them and not get them as part of our food, because uh, zinc is mostly found in meats, and then you have like certain foods like oysters and a few other things that have a lot of uh, high amounts of zinc, maybe nuts. But in general, for people who aren't eating enough meat, a lot of people then turn to supplements. The issue is that our body is not really, our intestines aren't really good at absorbing minerals. It's, we're not really meant to do that. Probably, you know, there's a, probably an evolutionary reason uh, re regarding toxicity and whatnot. However, we are really good at absorbing amino acids and proteins. So what the geniuses in the supplement industry did years ago was to bind the mineral, and this is done with many minerals, but you bind the zinc to an amino acid such as glycine. Glycine has a ton of benefits on its own, but we're really here to use the glycine as a Trojan horse. The intestines love to absorb the glycine, and guess who comes to the ride? Zinc. And then the zinc, so this is known as zinc glycinate chelate, chelated zinc, and it has a higher uh, bioavailability, higher absorption rate, higher serum zinc levels get into the blood where they can then work their magic 
I probably shouldn't say magic in a video <laughs> where they where they can do their work and um, and so then we've seen several studies showing zinc helping with immunity zinc way before 2020 even happened zinc deficiency sh uh, causing loss of smell so like try to cover for any deficiencies at least and what we have here is not a huge dose so sometimes a lot of these add-on supplements have too much zinc and we don't really want to go over 40 maybe I forgot is 50 milligrams of total zinc this is just 10 milligrams 92 percent of the recommended daily value hopefully you're getting in some other zinc from your diet and this is like a perfect add-on to what I would consider to be an inferior uh, multivitamin even some multivitamins that have low doses of, like zinc citrate not bad not as good as the chelated uh, zinc glycinate here with a little bit more you're going to I think get a lot more zinc into the serum there's a lot of research showing zinc helping out with testosterone now a lot of times this research is really getting people from deficiency to regular zinc status and then their testosterone improves same thing with mood a lot of people in like uh, let's just say negative emotional states zinc deficiency can cause some of that so getting rid of the zinc deficiency can raise mood now if your zinc are is zinc status is already fine adding more zinc is probably not gonna like make your mood better though so understand that we're just trying to cover for deficiencies the issue is a lot of people think they're getting zinc and then you look at the multivitamin they're taking it's got zinc oxide possibly not absorbing it and then zinc has been shown to also help with glucose metabolism as well there's yeah a lot of stuff zinc and acne we have a bunch of sections here we'll link to the blog post in the uh in the actual youtube description here but in general i like this because it's not so much zinc that's going to blow someone out who's already taken a, a quality zinc but it is enough zinc to be a booster and that's pretty much what we're looking for here so in general uh super c really good stuff for american metabolics 90 servings not a ton of money and then you add it or it's like kind of stick it in the boomer parent stack a little bit make sure they get some of the good zinc little extra vitamin d make a dose of vitamin c or keep it around if you're getting sick I'm a big fan of this, and this is an article that I'm just really proud of this article because we went pretty deep on a lot of these things. So check it out on blog.pricelaw.com, and you can sign up for the alerts on pricelaw.com slash American-Metabolics because then we will have Ben eating all his gummies. I love the two new, new gummies from American Metabolics. So sign up for those alerts. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, all that, because we will uh, be covering them. The other uh, type of gummy there is apple cider vinegar, and they are good. Thanks for watching.